Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the Windsor Equestrian Festival held in Windsor, Britain. Also present was Bahrain's Ambassador to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed the strength and steady growth of the long-standing Bahrain-British relations in light of His Majesty the King's vision and the support of His Majesty's Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which contributed to bolstering bilateral cooperation at all levels. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed the importance of the Royal Windsor Horse Show, which bears witness to the historical and unique bilateral sports relations. Thanks to the constant follow-up of His Majesty, the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, his Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He praised the outstanding participation of the Royal Endurance Team in the Royal Windsor Horse Show and the distinguished performance of its jockeys, wishing them success. His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad was keen to attend the show, supporting Bahraini riders and giving them directives which motivated them to lead the first stages of the 100 kilometer, 120 kilometer, and 160 kilometer races. His Honor Sheikh Khalid also met a number of British personalities and reviewed with them the solid bilateral relations as well as the need to further strengthen them in various fields, especially sports. The Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health of Tenant General, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the heads of government health authorities and institutions. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Health, Dr. Jalil bin Sayyid Jawad Hassan, and discussed the important developments in the health care, especially the procedures to implement the National Health Insurance Program. The Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health affirmed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen and develop the national health system and to provide high-quality medical services to all the citizens and residents in the kingdom. He gave a detailed presentation on the preparations for the implementation of the health insurance and reviewed the legislative and executive steps taken to achieve it and implement it, including the autonomy project and the appointment of board of trustees and chief executives of financial and human re regulations. The Minister of Health outlined the Ministry's role and key functions as a partner in developing the health system and following up the program's implementation in partnership with Bahrain's Council for Health Studies to train health workers. The Ministry of Health signed at the Supreme Council of Health headquarters a memorandum of understanding with the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh to boost the cooperation in dentistry. The signing took place under the patronage of the Supreme Council Health President, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, in the presence of all the competent parties. The memo was signed from the Bahraini side by the Minister of Health Under Secretary Dr. Walid Khalifa Al Mana and the Chief Executive of Primary Health Care Centers, Dr. Lulu Ashwater, and from the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh, the Dean of the Faculty of Dental Surgery, Professor Philip Duncan Taylor. An article was published at the World Economic Forum entitled How Major Sporting Events Contribute to Strengthening the Economies of the Middle East Countries by the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Ayman Tawfiq al muayyad through which he demonstrated the contribution of major sporting events to strengthen the economies of the Middle East countries. In the article, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports indicated that sports tourism is indeed a $600 billion industry in the Middle East. Mr. al muayyad said that major sporting events contribute to economic benefits for the host country, noting that the benefits of the Kingdom of Bahrain hosting the Formula One races have had its distinctive imprint, whose effects extended to the rest of the Middle East countries. Mr. al muayyad indicated that Bahrain has plans for electronic sports and games, in addition to the continuous endeavors to create a digital environment that supports advanced digital interconnection. He explained 
that the government of the Middle East and North Africa are increasingly working to integrate esports into their activities as part of their plans for national economic diversification. He indicated that the tendency to encourage non-oil investments and economic diversification through the Middle East, such as sports tourism sector, is a trend that indicates that sport will have an important role in the economic prosperity and cultural identity of the region in the coming years. The Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor bint Ali Al Khalif, met the Deputy Foreign Minister for Multilateral and Global Affairs at the Republic of South Korea, Park Yong Min. This came during an official visit by the Minister, which is conducted to the Republic of South Korea, as part of our participation in the High Level Bahraini delegation headed by the Minister of Industry and Commerce, His Excellency Mr. Abdullah bin Adil Fakhru. Minister Al Khalif highlighted the strong relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Korea stressing the Kingdom's commitment to further strengthening these relations to achieve sustainable development targets. During the meeting, the two sides discussed major milestones, plans and challenges in achieving sustainable development. They also highlighted the pivotal role the private sector plays in the development process and the attainment of sustainable development goals. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Mr. Abdullah bin Adil Fakhro, met South Korea's Vice SMEs and Startup Minister Cho Ju Hyun in Seoul. The meeting was held in the presence of a number of officials from both sides and took place within the framework of the official visit of a Bahraini high-level delegation to South Korea. Minister Fakhro stressed the importance of the SMEs, which are supported by the government, underlining cooperation to benefit from the South Korean experience in developing this vital sector and building various bilateral partnership. The Kingdom of Bahrain marks today the International Nursing Day, observed annually on May the 12th. The 2023 edition is being held under the theme Our Nurses, Our Future, ushering in a global campaign on how nursing in the future should address global health challenges and improve global health for everyone. In a statement, the Ministry of Health stressed the importance of supporting the nursing staff providing opportunities to keep them abreast of scientific developments and developments encouraging and training specializations and new skills and investing in the sector. The annual occasion aims to highlight the nursing staff's contributions and initiatives in serving all patients and members of society within the framework of achieving the goals of comprehensive health coverage. It also sheds lights on the importance of developing the future of the nursing profession in the world and educating health care officials about the rights of male and female nurses. This year's theme embodies the attention attached to the nursing staff and the important vital role in providing care for all and enhancing health services. It also provides a window to highlight their achievements and initiatives in developing the nursing profession despite the challenges and difficulties they face. Great efforts have been made by the government of Bahrain to ensure the availability of food commodities and to ensure their smoothness in the market at reasonable prices in light of the global challenges imposed by the various circumstances. Perhaps the most prominent directives or orders that had a tangible impact on ensuring the stability of commodity prices is the order of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to develop urgent plans and procedures that contribute to the stability of the commodity prices and their availability at local markets and to control prices in order to achieve the benefit of the consumer. The public and private sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain continued their efforts to ensure the availability of commodities and the stability of their prices. Traders affirmed that the prices of food commodities are stable and that was mentioned by the World Food and Agriculture Organization FAO of the increase in the global price index which has no effect. The chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, participated in the consultative meeting held in Oman between the Ministers of Commerce and the chairman of the Councils of Federations and Chambers of Commerce and Industry in the GCC countries. During the meeting, the chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry stressed the importance of enacting a unified Gulf law for commercial concession to contribute to encouraging franchise activities by setting a framework that regulates the relationship between the owner and the grantor of the concession and provides the necessary legal protection for both parties, which will benefit the Gulf economy through activating the commercial movement between citizens and companies in the GCC countries smoothly and safely. Mr. Nas stated that the private sector in the GCC countries hails the success in managing the economic development in the GCC countries 
and achieving high economic growth rates, as well as the success in directing economic and financial policies to face the challenges that the world faced in the past. He stressed the importance of focusing on digital services and expanding e-commerce through the establishment of joint Gulf platforms for e-commerce and digital services related to intra-trade, inter-investment, capital transfer, and joint ventures.